Hey YouTube, <clears throat> it's Mr. Faust Hunter's back. It's, uh, let's see, February the 13th, I believe. It's been a while since I posted a video. This is going to be a short video. I just wanted to post a couple of new knives that I've had. Well, one of these I've had a while. And, uh, these are both large folders, so... I'll get right to it. Let's see, the first one I've got, it just came in a plain box. And it doesn't really say a whole lot on it, but it's an S Tech. And this is the large cleaver. You can see just a plain cardboard box. Comes in a nice carry sheath, like a belt holster, or belt sheath rather. It's got room for a pretty large belt. Probably get at least a two inch belt in there, easy. Let's see, grab my specs here. <laughs> the model number for it is TS004BK. And a lot of people have done videos on this already. So, but it is a frame lock, as you can see. Uh, it has a big, big, big pocket clip. <laughs> and uh, it's a flipper, so. Let's see if I can get it to flip right. I didn't do it right that time. Try again. Got it that time. As you can see, let me back up. It's a pretty large folder. And that's S Tech. S T E C. And let me see. Obviously made in China. But I think these were only about maybe $15 or something like that. Might be less than that on Amazon. And I can't even remember what the blade still was. If you give me a second, let me look on the blade and see if it says. Okay, it's 440 stainless. So assuming it's probably 440A maybe. You can see it's hollow ground both sides. But yeah, it's big. It's a big folder. And uh, with those finger chills, it's pretty comfortable. It has a little some jipping on the back. As you can see. So that ain't going to slip. I mean, it would make it comfortable if you're, you know, like whittling or making some feather sticks or anything like that. Uh, don't think the spine is 90 degrees. It's kind of slick with that coating on it, so... If you wanted a lot of fire still off of that, you'd probably have to file a little section of it, like right here somewhere, probably right there, maybe. But yeah, huge clip. I've never carried this because it's pretty heavy. Uh, I weighed it out with the holster at 13.7 ounces, so that's a heavy beast. And 12.2 ounces without the sheath. So if you just wanted to carry it in your pocket, you're looking at 12 over 12 ounces, just like that. Uh, I haven't really tested the initial sharpness. So I'm going to try a piece of this notepad. See what it does. I don't know what it'll do. Well, it's fairly sharp, I'd say. Looks like it's pretty sharp. Yeah, I think it'll do the job. It, it's not too a dull or anything. <laughs> it'll get the job done, I suppose. But yeah, uh, it's just so heavy, man. It's just, you got to kind of give it a, a little bit of a wrist flick to get that out. Give you a good look at the bevel. I just thought it was cool, and like I said, I think it was less than $20, so... Uh, looks like you can't adjust the pivot, although there's no blade play whatsoever. It's a solid, solid, solid lockup. Okay, this would be good if you're out in the woods. You want to put it on the belt, but it's a little bit heavy for my taste. Anyway, let me get on to the next one. Now this knife, I have tried to get 
took me three times to get it. I guess they, what they say about third time the charm is, is correct because I ordered it twice on Amazon and both times it got canceled and that was from two different sellers and messages I got back from both times was that it was out of stock so I think Cold Steel's uh, having trouble uh, producing and fast enough to meet the demand of this product but it's like I said it's new for this year I think so <coughs> eventually they'll get caught up but where I ordered it oh before it's <laughs> It is the cold steel Luzon, large Luzon. You can you can get the the four inch Luzon on Amazon, but you can't find this one. Can't hardly find it. And I ordered once, and it and uh, I got that message back that it was out of stock. And then I waited a while because you couldn't even find it after that. It wasn't even showing up in a search. So I saw another YouTube video that they just got some back in stock on some of the sellers there, and I tried again, and I got the same message. I think the second time I worked from Ecop, and they were out. So when I finally did get this, I ordered it from BladeHQ.com. I think it was a little bit more. I think it might have been like fifty-four with shipping, but you know. You want something bad enough, I guess you're going to get it. <laughs> but this is a beast. Another beast. And it has a flipper also. And it, also it does have a thumb stud too. If you want to go the old school way. But oh, it's kind of hard to do that way. So much easier just to flip it out. But I don't know if you can see how big. <laughs> the handle itself is like. It says on the box uh, seven and a half inches GFN I guess that's glass filled nylon or something feels feels sort of like their old stuff they call grivery but with these little uh, channels they made into the uh, nylon it's uh, pretty comfortable it's almost like side choils it's like they're scalloped into the side like like choils for the side of the handle but you do have that big choil there to keep your finger from going up in the flipper but that i think that's a five inch only no six inch blade let me check that i'm pretty sure that's six but let me double check it damn sure don't want to get cut with this <laughs> let's see I'm going to measure back to where the Mercaso starts. Yeah, it's six inches, so seven and six, that's right, 13 and a half. Got a bit of a blood groove, as they call them, or people call them other things. But yeah, I love the blade. It's like a, almost like a, I guess a clip point, a shallow clip point, not not real pronounced like a, on some bowies, but it says lose on there. Over here it says the I think the steel, cold steel, China, and it's eight CR thirteen MOV steel. Uh, it says it's three and a half millimeters thick. So that's some pretty thick stock. And it does have uh, stainless liners, obviously with a liner lock. And I think they are, I think they are skeletonized maybe to make it lighter. Uh, they have put, put on a big, huge plastic pocket clip made out of the same material I haven't tried it yet so I don't know how it does but it feels good I mean it's not too tight and with it being that GFN it ought to slide right in and out and I know I saw a Lynn Thompson video where he was talking about this and these can be replaced so you can order more of these if, they, if that was to snap or something like that and also integral lock slide it forward 
and now you cannot disengage the liner so I guess that makes it more of a like a fixed blade just a big honking knife which is what I like I like big knives and I thought I might actually carry this but like I said at a so did I write the weight? Oh yeah, it says on here. Let me see what the box says. Well, it's 9.3 ounces, so yeah, you could carry it, but if, you better have a deep pocket because uh, seven and a half inches, that, that'll, take, that'll eat up a lot of pocket right there. <laughs> it's your typical... Typical bit would fit that for uh, adjusting the pivot. I'm not sure what kind of liners they're using. I guess there's too much to wish for copper or bronze. Bronze phosphorus, probably plastic. Who knows? Cause I can't even see them. But yeah, I like it. And I'm glad I was finally able to get it the uh, lock. You can hear it just jiggle a little bit. I might be able to tighten that up with a small torch bit. I don't know. As you can see it's got those little bitty screws. So whether that can be tightened up to where it don't rattle or not, or if you tighten it up, it may not want to slide good. So I don't really know yet. I'll have to probably take a torch bit and try to tighten all these a little bit and make sure they're fairly, fairly snug. But yeah, it's it's a you can see it's fairly thick. Uh, blade searing, pretty much perfect. From what I can tell. Pretty damn close. Yep. Although it looks looks like it's off to the left with this thick pocket clip here. But yeah, and that thumb stud, pretty much worthless. I can't even hardly budge it with you're gonna have to use the flipper but it comes out pretty easy just one last look at it and I kind of like the way though it's got the choil though it's because you want to be safe with the knife let me have not tested initial sharpness on this one either have not stropped it have not done anything so let's see what it can do Usually you get a real sharp knife from cold steel, but it's not bad. But I think it could use a strop. Tickle it up a little bit as the nicest knives would say. But yeah, that's the cold steel lose on large. And who knows, I may end up getting the 4 inch version just so I could carry it. I thought it would look cool having that black clip sticking, big old black clip sticking out of your pocket. Like if you're wearing black pants, you would hardly notice that. And if you if you wanted to, you could take this. You could either take a black sharpie fine point, or you could take some matte black paint and uh, screw these out and paint them real quick with a brush, maybe or something. And then it would be solid black at the tip. So yep, yeah, that's my little video. Just wanted to show you these new ones. And I'm real happy with them. Pull that back out. Yeah, this thing, this thing's just way too heavy really to be carried, but it'd be good for camping or something like that. But everybody's into cleavers now, or cleaver size, cleaver shaped knives. So I thought I'd see what the uh, mystery is or the fascination. But anyway. Uh, hopefully I'll do another video soon. I've still got some new stuff I, I can uh, review and hope you guys have a great week and a great month. And I'll talk to you on the next go around. Take care.